Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be checking out Elementary OS. So let's get started. Now, for the past couple of videos, you've probably seen me using this desktop, which is Elementary OS, and you guys were asking about it. Now, I am going to start you guys off with one of my favorite features about this desktop, but before that, let me tell you about this a little bit. Now, it's based off Ubuntu 1804, and it's got the latest update right now, which is 1804.4 with the latest kernel, so a lot of more hardware is supported on this build. And basically, underneath the shell, like I said, it's Ubuntu, but it might look like GNOME desktop environment, but in reality, it's actually their own desktop environment called Pantheon. Now, you could actually install this on top of GNOME, but I would recommend installing Elementary OS because they actually fine-tuned and tweaked it so it works really well with this operating system. Now, one of my favorite features about this desktop is picture-in-picture -picture mode. Yeah, they actually stepped it up. I'm telling you, like, I switched over to Firefox just so I could use their picture-in-picture -picture mode on their multimedia uh, extensions so basically any type of multimedia say like this video over here there they would come up with a little you see that picture in picture mode and it would pop this up now this is a firefox feature and it supports netflix hulu and all that other stuff now you might say like chrome has this yes while chrome does have this and they have it in this little tiny mode called picture in picture mode it is still different because it only supports youtube videos and not like netflix or hulu so Firefox was my better choice because it supports all multimedia. Now, like I said, Elementary OS stepped up and actually did it as a global feature. What that means is, say I wanted to watch a video, by pressing Windows key F, I get this little cursor, and I could select the area that I want, and now that became a picture-in-picture -picture mode. Now this works if I have a terminal, and say if I'm running a long task, Oh yeah, I'm going to turn this into a picture picture mode, select that area. So now I have two picture in pictures and I could do sudo app update. And now I could have that running in the background and you could see it's just running and I could get this little picture in picture mode working. And that's what I love about this operating system because of this little feature that they have going on, this little picture-in-picture -picture mode. Now, moving on, this operating system is actually very, very clean. It's very similar to Mac OS style, and I really like that clean look. It also has this application menu, so it doesn't fill the screen like GNOME does. Now, originally, it comes in a task menu view like this but I tend to switch it over here because I like the selection that I have over here. So it groups up and I'm not clustered with all the apps. Another thing about this is this system is geared towards not really having to use the terminal. So you could practically do everything you want just through clicking. Uh, you could see as their app store, you see a little one button as uh, that little one number. Now the app center is very easy to navigate and every, very, very easy to use. If I wanted to install something like notepad or something like leaf pad or mouse pad i could just click on it and install and like i said that number that you see on the bottom and it's actually telling me that i have an update available so i could just update my operating system by clicking this update button which i really like as well now their settings menu also have a lot of stuff built in now it, again it looks like a mac os style but um, this is geared towards more user-friendly operating system type so if you're a beginner type and you're starting to get into linux this operating system is great. Now, another feature that they do have is universal access. They are known for having really good support for different um, bigger fonts or certain things that uh, audible alerts and stuff like that. So if I was to go to display, I could actually change all my text size to like large or larger so it's easier to read, as well as if I wanted to change the high contrast theme so it's easier to see. Or if I go to audio, I could actually have it flash the screen when I, an alert sound occurs. So remember that notification that just came up about my task being finished? That would flash the screen if I had this on just so I know something happened. So there's a lot of things in this that helps you uh, navigate if you're hard of hearing or hard of seeing. So this is a great operating system for that. Now, I would manage to get a lot of my applications working, including my video editor, which is DaVinci Resolve, and a lot of other games from Steam, like Woolsen and Space Engineers, Elite Dangerous. I had, I was able to install all the games. 
probably without a hitch other than the normal configurations that you really need to do. But yeah, it, it's very easy to use this application. They recently just launched um, an app called Planner, which I am starting to get used to because this actually is a task schedule, not task scheduler, but you know, like, like a to-do list or a reminder. And I, this is a recent application that was just updated and I'm starting to look into it and I do really like it so far. I, I erased everything that I had, but I do like it so far and you could sync this with your um, Google. So that's really cool. Now, other than that, the look and feel and how prompt everything starts up is very, very responsive. It's a pretty lightweight system. Compared to XFCE, this is a little bit heavier weight than XFCE, but it is a very smooth and easy to use system. The multitasking view is pretty cool where you could see all the tasks that's happening as well as switching desktops. So if I was to move over to this desktop, I can. I'll go back to this one. I really do like that and I could just click the application that I was looking at or what I wanna see. Their file manager is pretty good as well. They have tab browsing and it's easy to read as far as like how much space you have left and anything that you want to do it's easy to select I, I do like that everything that you do select it gives you the shortcut key just in case if you want to get used to using shortcuts instead they have the shortcut key on the right side and yes this is a desktop and you notice that there might be a battery icon up on top that's actually telling me how much battery i have left on my wireless keyboard which is a feature that i don't really see on other operating systems much it's really cool anyway um yeah I would definitely test this operating system out if you are new to Linux and even an intermediate user. This is a great operating system. I had no problems multitasking, switching desktops, and as well as the picture in picture. Oh my God, that thing is probably one of the best features that I've ever seen on any desktop. I, I, I really wish it's on a lot more desktops, but yeah, it, it, it is a great feature. So that's it for me guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want me to, if you want to know more about this operating system or you want me to test certain applications, hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.